PsiQuantum to build giant quantum computers. Today, PsiQuantum has announced plans to build the first U.S.-based utility-scale quantum computer in Chicago, Illinois. This groundbreaking initiative, in partnership with the state of Illinois, Cook County, and the city of Chicago, will anchor the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park at the former U.S. Steel South Works site. The project involves significant investments, including $500 million from Illinois' state budget and additional incentives totaling over $500 million. The facility will span 300,000 square feet and is set to revolutionize industries by achieving a utility-scale quantum computer with 1 million qubits. According to Pete Shadbolt, PsyQuantum's co-founder and chief scientific officer, this could be the most complex quantum optical electronic system humans have ever built, and that's hard. PsyQuantum has chosen a unique path in a couple of ways. First, it uses photons to generate qubits, compared to IBM using superconducting, and ion Q and Quantinium using trapped ions. Secondly, PsyQuantum says it is targeting these larger scale systems, likely with 1 million physical qubits, because smaller devices are unable to adequately correct errors and operate at a realistic price point. As reported by MIT Technology Review, Pete Shadbolt noted, just in the last few years, we've seen people waking up to the fact that small systems are not going to be useful. In order to adequately correct the inevitable errors, you have to build a big system with about a million qubits. This approach conserves resources, he says, because the company doesn't spend time piecing together smaller systems. However, skipping over them makes PsyQuantum's technology difficult to compare to what's already on the market. MIT Technology Review also quoted Christopher Monroe, founder and former CEO of IonQ, who said, it's all or nothing with PsyQuantum, which doesn't mean it's invalid. It's just hard to measure progress along the way, so it's a very risky kind of investment. In April 2024, PsyQuantum announced a parallel project in Australia, supported by a 620 million US dollars investment from the Australian Commonwealth and Queensland governments through a financial package comprised of equity, grants, and loans. The facility, located near Brisbane Airport, aims to be operational by 2027. PsyQuantum's link with Australia is through two of its four co-founders. CEO Jeremy O'Brien and Chief Architect Terry Rudolph are both Australians. Jeremy O'Brien studied quantum mechanics as an undergraduate in Perth, Australia, in the mid-1990s, pursued a PhD at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, and held a postdoc position at the University of Queensland. Terry Rudolph completed his undergraduate studies at the University of Queensland in 1994 and earned his PhD in 1998 at the University of York in Canada. They both became university professors in the United Kingdom, with O'Brien at Bristol University and Rudolph at Imperial College. Founded in 2015, Psi Quantum is headquartered in Palo Alto, California. The company is backed by significant funding from investors like BlackRock, Founders Fund, and Microsoft's Venture Fund, totaling $700 million. Psi Quantum's team has over 200 employees, and the company has strong partnerships with U.S. government agencies, such as DARPA and the Air Force Research Laboratories. PsyQuantum's ambitious projects in Chicago and Brisbane highlight their aggressive strategy to deliver the world's first utility-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computing systems. PsyQuantum is still a private company. By comparison, IonQ went public in 2021 via a SPAC combination and currently has a market capitalization of 1.7 billion US dollars. There is no information about if or when PsyQuantum will go public. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful content.